it's Cirque, and today I'm going to be giving you a little preview of the calendars I bought for my 12 Days of Yulemas Advent Calendar unboxing this year. First up, we have my favorite from last year. I decided to get the Candle Advent Calendar from A&M Candle Company again, although this year I upgraded from the tea lights to the one ounce candle. And once again, it's in this cute little rustic packaging with the company logo on the front and some, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Well, and some twine on the top. And as you can see, unfortunately this one, although I love the calendar, it's a little hard to keep it organized. This is day 10. Okay, so I got it back in order again. I actually... Oops, I actually had to put these back in order when I first got them too, so I've got a little bit of a preview of the smells, although I haven't actually looked at the scents yet, but just like last year, they smell beautiful, and I can't wait to unbox them. And when I got my order, I also got this cute little gingerbread-shaped wax melt, which I thought was cute. It's a gingerbread flavored wax melt as well. So sometimes when I feel like making my room smell good and don't feel like bothering with a candle, this will be the perfect way to make my room smell very festive. Then returning to my love of stickers and stationery, I also decided to get the Brimble's Advent Calendar for the second year in a row. I believe just skimming over this that this is close to the same note that we got last year so you can pause and read it for yourself if you would like but i'm not going to do that this year just because like i said i think it'll be similar if not exactly the same as last year other than just changing the number of years they've been doing it and as you can see i haven't broken the seal yet so obviously this will be a complete surprise I love getting to see everything I get from my advent calendar every year with fresh eyes. So even with the calendars that it's a little harder to guarantee, you can see that I always wait until the day that they're supposed to be opened to actually see what the gift is. I also got not one, but both of that How To Girls cross-stitch advent calendars this year. I really enjoyed last year's. And I couldn't decide which design to go with from the two that she released for this year. So since the cross-stitch calendar was probably the shortest of the 12 last year and also the easiest to edit, I thought, why not buy, just buy both? And they will be in the same video, so I'm only counting them as one. But you'll get to see both designs to the finish. And to round out the repeats, I also decided to get a Books and Treasures countdown calendar again this year. However, unlike last year, instead of it being the Christmas calendar, I'm actually going to be unboxing their birthday slash other life event advent calendar. From what I could tell, and the last I checked, they didn't actually release a Christmas advent calendar this year. So I don't know if they ran out of the leftover Christmas items from past years or if they just forgot. But my birthday is on the 26th and that's also the anniversary of the first public video I have on my account. So I figured why not just get the birthday calendar and see how it compares to the Christmas one last year. And... I'm hoping that I can actually get this out on my birthday, but obviously there's a lot going on between Christmas and my birthday, so I can't guarantee every anything, but if I can't get it out on my birthday, I'll probably at the very least try to get it out on the 27th or the 28th, so this will be one of the first ones, if not the first one. Then, moving into the calendars that are new for this year, we have these two kind of empty looking boxes, but they have some very fun goodies inside. These are both going to be stationary calendars, if I am remembering correctly. The first one is by BC Goodies on Etsy, 
and the packaging is just adorable. It has these um, green and plant print wrappers on it and some brown ones and they're all wrapped in twine. This one's actually wrapped in fabric, so that one's very exciting. I'm not sure if the fabric is the gift or if there's something else inside, but this one has yarn on it and a dried flower, which is a nice touch. And this is day four, so this will be an earlier gift, so I can't wait to see what is inside. And we have some gifts that are kind of easy to see what they might be and others that will be complete surprises, so that will be very fun. And then the second one is from Shop Addict, or Creative Addicts, I'm sorry. Their Etsy is Creative Shop Addicts, so that's probably why I got a little mixed up. And that's just paper. And they have their business card on the front. And then I'm going to carefully remove it from the paper. Oops, ripped it a little, but that's all right. And give you a, a look at their... Um, their social media accounts on there if you want to look them up and as always I will also be linking at the very least the Etsy accounts of all of the people that I buy from in the description and this is my first time seeing these items but they're all wrapped in this adorable paper all different types there's some Christmas trees and baubles, some with um, washi tape on them. This one's gold and looks like it has Mary on it. There's all different types of Christmas print paper and tape. And it's going to be very exciting to see what's in there. After that, we also have two witchy advent calendars. This one is from... I'm trying to remember which one's which. Okay, this one... Oops. This one is from... Earth's Touch, and it's filled with some packing peanuts, and the gifts are all wrapped in this black paper. So it's going to be fun digging through, trying to find the gifts for each day. But the search is sometimes just as much fun as the opening with these Etsy advent calendars, since it's always fun to see how the creators end up filling them and keeping your items safe and how they present them and then I couldn't keep them both in the frame but our second one is from Ponka Potion Shop and they decided to fill their advent calendar with my old faux the black packing spaghetti but the items themselves are in these cute little boxes and they have the numbers right on the front and they also added in some extra gifts for me. I got a Dum Dum and some Double Bubble. And I'm not sure what that candy is, but it looks delicious. So thank you very much for the extra gift. And I'm very excited to open the, the calendar. Next up, I also found two different bookish advent calendars to try out. The first one is the... 12 days bookish advent calendar from i believe it's pronounced Sintalera, and that's their socials if you want to check them out inside they have a nice christmas card that says a very merry christmas and that's blank on the back and oh i believe this is a freebie they gave, they gave me some nice candy as well um, I can't remember what country they're from. I, I got calendars from many different countries this year, but I believe this is a candy from their home country. Kacha Mango Bites, so that will be exciting to try. I don't think I've ever had that before. And then they have a note that says, Hello reader, holiday season is all about giving happiness. Thank you so much for gifting Oh, giving me the happiness by choosing this advent calendar, and I hope I delivered the same to you. These 12 lovingly wrapped gifts are designed to adorn your life with bookish things. Most of them are utility products you can easily use in your daily life. 
do share your unboxings and you using the products with me on Instagram, tag Cintalera and use the hashtag hash, um, Cintalera Advent 2022. This will bring me absolute joy and I will be sharing your posts and stories. Have a very Merry Christmas. Suniti. Um, okay, so this one might be from from India or at the very least from someone of Indian descent. That's what I'm going to guess based on the name. But like I said, I don't remember off the top of my head which country each one comes from. I know there's one from France, one or two from India, and that and the like the Middle East area, and a few that were from the UK as well as a couple that were from the US. But our second bookish gift or our, our second bookish advent calendar also comes with a freebie and it is from I'm trying to find the name quick. I thought I had it, but I misplaced it. It is from the Sangra shop on Etsy. And if I recall, I believe this one's actually a, um, like, a collective of, like, women who didn't, couldn't traditionally get jobs, but they're making money for themselves through creative pursuits. So, if I'm remembering correctly, and I didn't just pull that out of my butt, <laughs> then that's a very interesting group that I can be supporting. And let's just look at our freebie quick before I look at the actual advent calendar. I'm trying to open this carefully in case it's something fragile. Oh, that's cute. The freebie's a beautiful scrunchie that unfortunately I can't use on my hair because I have short hair, but I'll make a very cute bracelet. I can definitely do that. So thank you very much for the freebie. And I thought this packaging was interesting. I've never seen this kind of paper with the holes in it so I, I didn't want to unpackage this quite yet because I wanted to show that off if you know what this is tell me because I think it's very interesting packaging and it definitely kept my package safe I had some issues last year with advent calendars getting damaged in the mail so I very much appreciate this keeping the box safe as well as the goodies inside oh and this one has a beautiful graphic on the front as well I chose to get their classics advent calendar, but they also had some advent calendars to choose from that were themed after different books and book genres. And then the gifts inside. Oh, oh, now we have some white packaging spaghetti with sparkles on it. Oh, and this this wrapping is beautiful. It looks like it's custom wrapping from from. Um, the Sangra shop, and then they have the numbers themed after the um, advent calendar that you got, so that's definitely a custom job. So I'm very excited to open this one as well. And both of these, unfortunately, I will not be getting any books in them like I do with the Books and Treasures one, but I'm hoping to get lots of fun bookmarks and lots of fun book themed goodies to show off how much I love books so that'll be very exciting to see the contents of and then last on my list but one of the first advent calendars I actually got Black Oak, Black Oak Workshops did a kickstarter earlier this year to sell their um D, D dice advent calendars and I chose to get their Ravens Fair one because I, I love ravens and crows and corvids and I love circuses and carnivals so I thought this one would be perfect and inside this one actually has 31 days so I'm going to be starting this one a little later than I probably should so we're going to count this one as a countdown to New Year's rather than a countdown to Christmas since Unless I open a bunch of them on the first day, I'm not going to make it to, I'm not going to be finished by Christmas, so this one will be waiting until January 31st to get the last of our items, but this is a themed dice advent calendar, so 
all of the sets we receive will go with our Raven's Fair theme. And I believe there are other items that aren't traditional dice. I don't think they're figurines, but they're D&D related items. Like, um, I think there might be a D2, so an item that you flip to open. And the inside is just beautiful. We have a carousel with all of our numbers printed on it and with some very easy to open doors. And some of the doors are a lot larger than a traditional die. So those are probably the ones that will be our D2 or our otherwise non-traditional D&D items. But I'm going to try to... Yes, but it looks beautiful displayed. I'm hoping I can open it in a way that doesn't mess the artwork up too much because I would just love to be able to keep this box um, and display it after the fact. Oh, and I, there, there was a list of items inside that I forgot about. So you'll, I'm going to get four sets of seven D&D dice, three loose die, a larger size black oak die, and everything in here has matching colors and designs to the theme. And I also got a beautiful dice bag along with it that is blue with pink accents and a pink carousel horse on it. So that's also very fun. And for those of you who have been keeping track, no, you did not miscount and neither did I. I only went over 11 of the 12 days that I will be unboxing. Unfortunately, the last calendar that I will be unboxing hasn't actually arrived yet. The creator is running a little bit behind and had some real life issues to deal with, but I have been in contact with them. They have reassured me that they're trying their best and I will be getting my calendar as soon as possible. And what do they call that one? A surprise calendar? Because I would rather say their name when I am praising them for how amazing I'm sure their calendar is going to be rather than when I'm saying that they're late. <laughs> so... Please be nice to them when I do unbox their calendar. Like I said, I don't think it is their fault that it was late. They're one person. Life happens. We're just going to move on and look out on the bright side and eagerly await the amazing things that we're sure to get from it. So that will be starting next week. We will have our first unboxing coming out on my birthday, the 26th of December, and we'll have one unboxing every day from then until January 6th, which is the Three Kings Day, Jedi Koenig's Fest. And after that, I'll be taking that Wednesday off just because I'm sure to be, bur to be a little burnt out from having 12 days of videos in a row. And then on the 17th, I believe, is the next Wednesday, I will be back to my normal posting schedule with my normal videos. And we're just going to have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy the unboxings that will be coming. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful holiday season, regardless of what holiday you choose to celebrate. And I hope that I, I hope that I get to see you again soon.